Hello and welcome. This is James Blanchard Cisneros at your service. Today I'll be reading the August 8th Daily Inspirational Message, the condensed version. It's two paragraphs long that I'll send on myself, say a little prayer, and then make a few comments on the message. And if you find the messages of use, please be so kind as to like the video. Thank you for that. Here we go, the title. Breaking out of negative thinking patterns. Paragraph one. If you are having problems breaking out of ne negative thinking patterns, consider trying the following. Instead of thinking, deciding, and reacting for yourself, ask God or any self-actualized being that you love, respect, and trust to lead your decision-making process. God is love and all. So if you're not aligned with experiencing and expressing loving thoughts, then know that the truth in you is not leading the way. Negative thoughts and thinking patterns are signs that show you that your ego is in control of your thinking. If the ego is in control of your thinking, then it is in control of your mind and life. Today, when an unloving thought pops up, practice catching yourself as quickly as possible. Then say to yourself, in quotes, Okay, an unloving thought is a sign that the ego is, in, is controlling my thinking. I now know that the ego is not the truth in me. Now, I set the unloving thought aside and ask God, love, the truth in me to lead the way. End quotes. Paragraph 2. Today, when a negative thought pops up, gently remind yourself that anything that seems to be in opposition to God, love, all, is nothing and thus offers you nothing you truly want. Remind yourself, <clears throat> in quotes, this negative thought about myself and others is a lie. Now I know that only the love in me is true and being all one, this is also the truth for everyone. Now I'm self-aware enough to be able to see this negative thought as the falsity that it is. I forgive myself and others for thinking lies about us as true. I choose to no longer support thoughts that don't support me in the experience that I want. Now, I only support and reinforce my loving, nurturing thoughts as true. Today, I gently forgive my misperceptions and negative thinking patterns. By doing so, I free myself from them and let them go. Now, I humbly invite love to decide for me and lead the way. Now, at one with love, my loving thoughts help me become, experience, and express who I was created by love to be, share, and enjoy. All right, breaking out of negative thinking patterns. Okay, today I'm gonna to make five points that I trust will assist both of us in the implementation of today's daily inspiration. Point number one, first of all, as we usually do, we set our goal for the day, okay? We're trying to break out of negative thinking patterns. And so the goal, the goal will be something like, I will no, no longer support negative thoughts, patterns that don't support me or the life that I want or I will no longer support thoughts that don't support me. And so the idea is to have it in your mind, your goal. So before every interaction or any activity, you go into the interaction or activity with your goal already set. And our goal today is to stop that line of thinking and break those negative uh, thought patterns. So that's uh, point number one. Point number two, if you're supporting a negative thinking pattern, recognize Learn to recognize that that is not the truth in you who's in control of your mind and thinking. And if the truth in you is not in control of your thoughts, mind, and thinking, then you are not in control of your life. You're not in control of your mind, you're not in control of your life. And that's why you feel unbalanced or insecure or whatever it is that you're feeling when you're supporting that negative thinking pattern. Because that's just your past programming who's temporarily taking control over your mind and thus living your life for you. And so, just in point number two, just recognize, okay, I'm having this 
let's say, a self-judgmental thought that's part of a negative thinking pattern. That is not the truth in me. The truth in me is only love. The love that God is and the love that God created me to be for this world. And so if I'm thinking such things as self-judgmental thoughts, that's just my past programming. The ego's mindset that is in control of my thinking. And thus the ego is living my life for me. And that's why I feel unfulfilled. And so simply practice recognizing when you're having those negative thoughts, who is in control of my mind? It's not the truth in you if that's happening. It's your past programming. That's point number two. Point number three, recognize who is really fueling this, continu this continuous pattern. Who's fueling it? It's not the outer world because the outer world just is. You define the outer world. And so you're fueling those negative thoughts about yourself or others. And so if you're having self-judgmental thoughts, practice taking personal responsibility for them. Stop blaming the outer world and those in it. Because if you blame the outer world and those in it, guess what? You're giving away your power to them. And, and if you give away your power to them, you're gonna feel powerless. No, take personal responsibility for the thoughts that you're thinking and the thoughts that you're supporting with your time, focus, and energy. And so, okay, I'm feeling the self-judgmental thought. Okay, I take personal responsibility for that. Now I'm gonna consciously choose to stop supporting that, uh, that self-judgmental thought. I'm gonna stop supporting that negative thinking pattern. That's point number three. Um, know who's feeling this pattern. It's not the other world, it is you and me. <laughs> okay, uh, and point number four is a continuation of point number three is we have to make the conscious decision because now we're in control. Now we realize, okay, it was the ego thinking, this negative thinking pattern, I, we stopped it, okay? Now we have to practice taking back control of our own minds and thinking and thus how we define the world we're experiencing and how we define ourselves, okay? And so when that negative thinking pattern or thought comes to your mind, stop placing your time, focus, and energy into it. Take personal responsibility and stop fueling it with your time, with your focus, and with your energy. Because if you continue to fuel that thought, let's say a self-judgmental thought, it's just gonna be a bigger and bigger part of your life and experience. But if you make a conscious decision to stop placing your time, focus, and energy on it, it begins to get smaller and smaller, a smaller part of your life, and little by little it dissolves away before your light and understanding. And so in point number four, make the conscious decision to stop supporting those negative thinking patterns with your time, focus, and energy. And point number five, our last point is, now that we stop supporting those thoughts with our time, focus, and energy, now we're gonna use that same time, focus, and energy on supporting loving, supportive thoughts and thinking patterns. Okay, so if we were judging ourselves before, being self-judgmental, now we're gonna stop that and we're gonna start to be self-supportive and say to ourselves, okay, wait a second. I co-created my journey with the divine. The divine is perfection. Perfection only creates perfectly. And so my journey and the way I'm expressing and experiencing my journey must be perfect for me. And I will use everything, everything in my journey. All things are lessons God would have me learn. <laughs> Every experience in my journey, I will use in some way, shape or form for my healing, growth and development. And so there's no need for me to be self-judgmental. And so instead of supporting those self-judgmental thoughts, now I consciously support self-supporting thoughts. Thoughts that lift me up. And by doing so, it clears my lens. When it clears my lens, and my lens is only, once again, aligned with the mind of God, with love, 
Then I define this world through that loving lens, and which brings me peace of mind and joy and a sense of fulfillment because I'm doing what God created me to do, to reflect my true nature, which is love and all of love's expressions, to my brothers and sisters, to help them awaken from their dream, to help them, to help lift them out of the darkness that they're in. Let us be that light for them by being self-supporting. Let us make sure our foundation is solid, solid, aligned with the mind of God, with love, and be become, use the thoughts and uh, uh, thinking patterns that support us, not the ego's negative thinking patterns that try to bring us down to, to its level. Let us lift ourselves up to sources level as much as we can, love's level. And that is what you are forever worthy of, the love that God is, and that is your mission in this life, is to in each moment and interaction support the loving you as true and support those positive thinking patterns as true. Lift yourself up, become a brighter and brighter light so that your brothers and sisters can see a way out of their darkness. And so let's try that today. Thank you very much for your time. I love you very much. And if you liked the video or if it was somewhat useful, please be so kind as to like it. Thank you for that. And God willing, we'll see each other tomorrow. Peace.